Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. It's Tuesday. Today's the show. I want to thank you for pressing play. Oh, gosh, this is the show I've been waiting to share. I've been talking about this day for a long time. I've been telling everybody that very, very shortly, I had a feeling that things were going to, the lights were going to go on and that life was going to change for a lot of people. And this is the show that is going to do that. So I hope you are uh, subscribed and I hope you share this around. And I want to thank you for commenting and liking and for, you know, sending me messages and all that stuff because, man, we are on an awesome ride. And we are about to enter into what they call the denouement. It is the, uh, the, the beautiful, I should say, glorious climax of this all. We're entering into that time. Well, I feel like it is. So let's talk heavenly signs, shall we? And I'm not just talking about the fireball that just lit up over Southern England and Scotland that looked super cool and super bright. the SpaceX rocket that had everybody thinking that, uh, you know, we were being uh, invaded by aliens. And I'm most certainly not talking about the same sighting that happened like decades earlier. more than once and I'm not talking about the alien disclosure that has been making its round on the news and I'm not talking about umua mua 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 Our uh, visitor from afar arriving first. And I'm not talking about the CIA's declassification of their super secret, top secret uh, UFO program, which we know really wasn't that top secret, considering, you know, the guy that ran the thing was like on CNN spouting his, his mouth off. I'm not talking about that. But what I am talking about, and it's going down right now as I tape this, because I didn't even know, I didn't even know I was going to do this video. I didn't even know what the video was. So I was meeting my friend Devin. Does Devin say hi, Devin? Hey, folks. And I you? had no idea what the show was on. I was actually troubled about it. And what, what were we talking about just a little while ago? A little bit of Heavenly Signs, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had nothing. And then all of a sudden, I, uh, I look up. And at this, look at the moon. I mean, it's crazy, man. Wolf moon. It's crazy. Huge. Huge. So anyway... Uh, maybe there's a reason why I didn't have that show until just now. What time is it? But it turned out that I did. And it was all of these little breadcrumbs. Remember that word breadcrumbs to talk about? All these little breadcrumbs that were dropping along the way for me. Turns out I, uh, I've been picking up those breadcrumbs and I've been throwing them out to you. And I didn't know when the end was going to come, but now it's coming indeed. So I hope that you are buckled up, people, because this is going to be a glorious thing. So you saw the thumbnail, you saw the, uh, the two moons, okay? It's going to be very significant. Right now, as I do this video, that moon, that huge wolf moon, which is super rare, and it's called a super moon, it's also called a wolf moon, it's the brightest the moon ever has been, and it's the brightest it will be, especially for this year. And the fact that it happens on New Year's is incredibly telling. So telling that it's crazy that just 30 days later, So you saw the thumbnail with the two moons, okay? Yeah, super bright, super wolf moon that's going on right now. Now, why is this significant? 
Well, there's a lot that's significant. It's 2018. We just came off 2017, which it was like, what? The year was like, huh? It didn't make any sense, right? Very dark, very oppressive, very scary. And man, we had so many signs in the heavens. Uh, we had that September 23rd sign. I'm going to get into that in a second. We had the signs in the earth. They had fire. We had smoke. We had earthquakes. We had all of this crazy stuff. And while everybody, a lot of YouTubers, were talking about the end of the world, the end of the world, the end of the world, and, oh, Jesus is going to return, and, and it's going to be bloodshed and all this stuff, I had been saying that a day of awakening was coming. A day that Peter talked about when he was trying to explain to everybody, look, these people aren't drunk, right? Because they were in this upper room and they were praising God. And then all of a sudden, the spirit, the light went on. And all of a sudden, they were speaking a new language, a new tongue. a lot of symbolism there. Their, their tongue was split down the middle. They were severed. It didn't literally split, you know, and it also, they were tongues of fire. Okay, now this is all symbolic because it meant that they, their tongue was separated from the way other people talk here and that their words, not only were they separated and not only were they a language because they began to speak a heavenly language, the truth, only those that were native to that language understood them. In other words, only those that know love and know the truth of God could hear what they were saying. And so when everybody was walking around and they were looking at all these people that were just radiating, you know, this life and they were talking about a new day and people were like, these guys are drunk. Peter's like, no, no, no. This is what Joel talked about. In Acts 2.20, let, let, let me read this to you. Let me read this to you. In the last day, God says, I'll pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will have visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on the servants of God, both men and women, I'll pour out my spirit in those days. It's a day, and what is the spirit? According to scripture, it's the truth of God. It's the power of God. It's the power and wisdom of God. Another word for it is the anointing of God or the Christos of God or the Christ of God. That's the day that we're talking about here, okay? And that came upon them. So when they were speaking this, this separated tongue, people were like, what's going on? And he said, this is what's going on. You see, the world was still a mess around them, right? It, there was still a lot of nonsense going on. There was war, there was slavery, there was a lot of horrible things and, and Christians were being persecuted but among all of that they were like this is the day see what I'm saying and that's what today's about that's what this show's about I've been talking about how it was going to lead up to that and why is it today well Joel says I will show wonders in the heavens above and remember that remember the sign in the heavens that everybody was so crazy about while well, everybody was looking for the you know the carnal interpretation of it oh you know that day's gonna be a terrible day you know it's, uh, jesus is gonna come and he's gonna crack this guy into and everybody's gonna be murdered and we're gonna show those bad people that's what people were waiting for saying the world's coming to an end but then nothing really changed but it did change spiritually a child was born i talked about this in my video which ironically this is very strange that one video I was, I was at a random computer at a library and for, I was thinking about that video. I didn't, and this was just a, a short period of time ago. And I, was, I didn't know why I was thinking about the video because I was thinking about what I was gonna do and I didn't know how it tied in. But then I see, boom, that video that I wanted to, you know, that I'm talking about, it was, it was restricted. I'm gonna go from this video. And strangely enough, just makes absolutely no sense that it's restricted. It makes no sense. Such an innocuous video. Then I go trying to watch it on YouTube and look what happens. And I'll open up YouTube and look what it says. I've never had that problem before. Any of my other videos that I tried to pull up on the very same computer, no problem playing them. I know I get censored, everybody gets censored, but this video, 
this one video, which I actually said was probably my most important video of the time, because it was heralding a time of awakening that like I've been waiting for my whole life and that many of you don't even know it. You're waiting for that miracle. You're waiting to break free. You don't even realize that that day's upon us right now. And now I feel like I have some kind of confirmation because of all the signs that are going on in the heavens. Because remember, he says the sun is gonna turn dark yeah, how'd that be? Eclipse of 2017. That's all we remember. And after seven years, everyone is released. 2017. We need to be released from all of that nonsense. And a lot of us are. That doesn't mean that the rest of the world is gonna change completely. No, no, no. It's gonna be a big first fruit. You know, that mighty army that Joel talks about. There are gonna be people everywhere popping up, just like me, talking about the day we're in, talking about how it's important to love and how you must think a certain way because whatever you believe you will receive, however you judge, you will be judged. This is stuff that I share on a regular basis, if only everybody put it to practice. Could you imagine where your life would be? And where do you see what's coming down the road for me? I got a New Year's Eve surprise, like a, this is crazy. I had mentioned that how my book, miraculously, I don't know how it happened, but it got in the hands of somebody who's a head over at Penguin Books. And now I just found out New Year's Eve, I get a call from this guy out of the blue, because I was worried, hey, you know, are they gonna put it through submission process, blah, blah, boom. He loved it so much, he read it through the first couple of chapters. Next thing you know, he's like, I packed it up and I sent it to, you know, the head over there at Waterbrook Press. It's like more of their spiritual arm. So I'm thinking, my goodness, everything that I believed was gonna happen, it's starting to happen. Now, whether it does or not, doesn't really matter because in my world right now, that's what I see because I've already been there. I've already envisioned it, I've already seen it. I've seen the day that we're about to enter into. I've seen the world getting a little kooky and I've seen people just like you. Out of all of your circumstance and all of your trials and all, all the things that were put down on you, just like that tree that wasn't producing fruit and like all that crap was thrown on you and all your, your, your whole life was dug about, you know, whether, whether you lost a home or you lost a relationship, all these horrible things thrown at you and you're like, God, I don't understand why. I'm a pretty good person. You didn't understand that all of that was like the, uh, the grain of sand that's in the, uh, that oyster and that, that the suffering is what produces that pearl. And that pearl right now of great price, I believe <laughs> this is the year where that pearl is gonna be harvested. It might even happen within the next month or so because of what's going on with these moons. And it just clicked for me and I just, look, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. I can't tell you for sure, but I felt like it was important and I felt like everything was putting me to this point. Why is that video restricted? Why out of all my videos, couldn't I get that one? And then I played it and I listened to it and it was talking about what I'm talking to you about right now. I was telling everybody that an awakening was coming and that's what that sign was about. So while everybody was talking about fear and everything else, I was saying, buckle up, get ready. The crazy ride is gonna get crazier, but you're gonna shine like a diamond. Shine like you've never shined before. You're gonna live, finally, and you're gonna live to help others. The sun will be turned to darkness, the eclipse of 2017, and the moon will turn to blood on January 31st, 30 days after the biggest, brightest wolf moon, right? The moon, but they also call the, uh, the Yule moon as well as another name for it. You're gonna have a, a total lunar eclipse. And it's saying that that moon is gonna look like blood red, especially where I am in New York, blood red. So when the sun turns to darkness and then the moon turns blood red, then what happens? Before the coming of the great, now listen to this word, because this is what a lot of religious people won't teach you because they want to keep you scared because they want you to keep giving them money because fear keeps you trapped here. Before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And that word Lord, just so you know, it actually means the existing 
It's the great and glorious day of the one who truly exists. What's the hope of glory in scripture? Christ in you. That day you'll know that I'm in the Father, the Father's in me, and I'm in you. Paul said, it's no longer I that live, but Christ lives. Peter said that they're not drunk. The Spirit of God was poured out on them. Don't you get it? That's what's happening. This is what they talked about in the book of Joel. This is what Joel talked about. And that's what I'm talking about right now. And that's what's going down. Now, I don't doubt that um, all of this stuff that we've been hearing, you know, about all the aliens and about the fireballs and about the, the discoveries and the, the, um, the advances in AI and all of this stuff. You know, we may even be in a simulation. The, uh, the discovery, and you want to talk about another celestial event, you want to talk about that. What about the discovery of gravitational waves and how it proves, you know, Einstein's theory and how everything, everything is one, all one. We all boil down to the exact same thing, one. You know, what do they call it? They Planck size, right? And it's, 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 not an atom, it's not a proton, it's not a neutron, it's not an electron, it's, it's, not, it's not a quark. It's below that, it's that little, remember I call it a wave. It's the, uh, the power of creation. Everything is made of the same thing and we are an expression of that thing. And I believe that the day we're entering into, you know, and there are gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be focusing on what's going on with Korea, Focus on what's going on in the Middle East. Focus on what's going on with Russia. Focus on what's going on in China. And there's going to be a lot of stuff. And hey, maybe there'll be war. Maybe. Maybe we'll have more terrorist attacks. Maybe we'll have more of this and more of that. And maybe all of that will happen. And while everybody's going crazy and everybody's freaking out, as the scriptures say, where everybody's going to be running and, 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 and wanting to be safe in the mountains, those that see God, because it actually says this, those that are asking, teach me the truth. Now, I'm not saying what... Well, <laughs> what to believe, people. Be really kind of foolish in me because I don't know. I know what I know. I know what I know. And um, because I saw, I, I wanted to know. And I didn't have, I, I, you know, when I came in, I was, I was brainwashed into having a certain preference. But what I did was I broke from that and I decided to look everywhere. And I know that there's some people that are brainwashed are going to say, you shouldn't have done that. But let me tell you something. I found the truth. And I've been living it and I've been sharing it with you all for a long time and I see where it's all going I think that it's happening now I think that we're gonna see something incredible and I think that in a lot of your lives you're gonna start getting that breakthrough and I think that the light is gonna go on and I think the world is gonna change so dramatically in the next 30 or something days that I hope each and every one of you are gonna understand that all you need to do to ask for it. All you need to do is ask for it. And then you too will get that new language. You won't be talking like everybody else. You won't be saying, oh, I can never get ahead. You won't be saying, oh, that's, you know, my life is oh so terrible all the time. You won't be saying, oh, you think that's bad. Let me tell you about this. You will be talking about how you have overcome and you've done so to the glory of God. And what is God? The name of God? I am that I am. And what does that literally be? What do I tell you every time I come on here and talk about this? I will be whatever I will be. We're all one. And it's wake up time. And that's what's going down. So I hope each and every one of you are truly buckled up. And I hope that this made some sense to you. And I hope you loved it. And I hope it wasn't a little too in your face, but I was very excited. I was excited. Do me a favor and give me a, give me a like. Give me a, what do they say? Pound, smash that like button. And uh, tell your friends about it. And share the video around, you know. And I'll, tr I'll try to link that other video. Because if you're not subscribed to me, you, can't, you won't be able to see it. Um... So you'll be able to check it out, okay? Love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.